cut into strips like that, it's about 100 grams there. We've got some sliced onion, sliced capsicum, um, so onion capsicum doesn't matter which variety you, uh, you use, about, um, little, about half an onion, half a capsicum, or small capsicum, small onion. Uh, we've got some Chinese broccoli, um, you don't have to use Chinese broccoli but I like it, so we've got about maybe, uh, it's not much, it's about maybe 100 grams there, and the uh, Thai basil. Uh, and for the other flavours we've got garlic, chili, so I've used bird's eye chili here, um, and oyster sauce, sweet soy, and I've got a little bit of water there just to thin out the sauce a bit. So to start, the very first thing you need to do is boil the noodles. So, since I'm boiling water, there we go. so that'll take about, oh, uh, say about you can put them in there for about four or five minutes. Depends how uh, how much texture you like your noodles to have. You want them to be a bit softer, obviously even longer. Just look about four, four minutes I'd say. But you can always check, like pasta, just check as you go. Um, but you probably want to cook longer than pasta because uh, if you have that kind of out there texture, it will be a bit weird with these type of noodles. So while that's cooking, um, start making the uh, sauce. Um, so. Well, not the sauce, but all the other ingredients. So what I'll do is I'll stir fry the uh, these three together. So a little bit of oil in the pan. So this is, um, like I said, hard tofu. Don't try this with uh, other varieties of tofu, like soft tofu, because it will just fall apart and turn to mush. I just like to get a little bit of colour on the tofu as well. In the meantime, I'll add some onion to the side and the capsicum. Tofu puffs and things like that? Yeah. Um, yeah, you could. I probably. Uh, it's got a different texture. Mm -hmm. so, uh, like sponge. Sponge. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't necessarily need to do this stage because they've already fried it. Yep. Um, so you can add that in at a later stage with the sauce. Um, if you wanted to use uh, chicken or uh, other protein, I would firstly then I would start off by frying that protein and then adding the other ingredients. So that's looking good. Oh, that's actually feeling quite good, so I might take it out because I don't want it to overcook. But just before I take it out, add my Chinese broccoli. It doesn't take long, just a half minute. Okay, turn that down while I wait for So I'll just set that aside. Okay, and then while that's still a little bit low, I'm going to add I guess, a teaspoon. So the garlic and the chili. So depending how much garlic you like, I personally prefer it to be a bit more garlicky. So there's about two teaspoons there. Chili is how spicy you want. Um, we'll go with 
about one teaspoon. So it's about like I'll get a little bit more. It's about one chili, like one bird's eye chili, and there's about maybe two and a half, three cloves of garlic in there. All right, so that's in there. Just put a little bit, not too high, because I don't want to burn it. And obviously you can't smell it, but get the chili coming yeah, up, yeah. And, it's, uh, and that's how you know you've got enough. Sauce. So I've got about uh, two and a half, three tablespoons here. Actually, I'll turn it down, not one turn. Sweet soy. Gives me. Oh, There's a chili. <laughs> so we've got about um, one and a half tablespoons. And we'll thin it out a little bit just because we want to be able to coat the noodles. So that's about uh, around two tablespoons. One and a half, two tablespoons of water. So this gives a good mix. Okay, I'll bring that back up. So all this stuff is pretty much cooked now. We can put it all back together. And let's give it a good mix. So as with all stir fries, don't overload your um, pan, especially with noodles, because they get really hard to mix. So just let it soak into the noodles a bit. And as always, just adjust to your own personal preference. If you like sweeter, add more sweet soy. Uh, if you like saltier, more soy sauce. If you find this is already too strong for you, so what I normally do is I just break off the noodle. That's about right, I like that. But if it's too salty, you can add a bit of water. Or less oyster sauce in the beginning. And I personally prefer this to be quite dry. I don't want it to be too salty, so I actually like that. So it's got enough flavor in the noodle. So it's pretty much done, and now I'll just add some Thai basil to the flavor. And just mix it basil sauce. It's one of my favorite herbs. So it doesn't need to cook too much, just need to wilt the basil a bit. The heat will bring out the flavor. And that'll do it. So now we're ready to plate. Once again, I'll attempt to plate my hand so I can face the camera. Stir fry, pumpkin noodle, and this one is so fruit. Alright, cheers, thanks.